Hello, advanced recorders. How are you guys doing? Have you been practicing your recorder? Let's ask the eight ball, shall we? Have my talented fourth and fifth graders been practicing their recorder? Uh-oh, outlook not so good. Well, hopefully that will improve this week. Let us start with attendance. You guys remember how to do it? So it's G G E A G E. Remember? G G E A G E. Tell me where's Miss Perryman? Let's see. Tell me. She's not here. Listen again. So it's G, G, E, A, G, E. Tell me where is Hummy Dot. G, G, E, A, G, E, Badia. Tell me where's Badia. G, G, E, A, G, E, Sydney. Tell me where is Sydney. G, G, E, A, G, E, Aisha. Tell me. Scale. So I'm going to say Andrew, and he's going to play C. Andrew. All right, let me get the correct hand on top here. Okay, Miss Perryman. Woo. And Melina would D, go D. Nyana would go E. Blake would go F. Jade would go G. So I'll say your name. And you play the note. I'll say the name of the note and then you play. Andrew C. Melina D. Nyana E. Blake F. Jaden G. Joshua A. Brian B. Rehan C. Is that a little fast? Let's go backwards. Michael, you're on the high C. Michael C. Selma B. Alyssa A, Claire G, Brooke F, Aaron E, Anaya D, Manya D, Gianna C. I wanted to make it down the scale in one. How'd you do? Let's try it one more time. Andrew C, now, can you predict, fifth graders, what's going to happen? Here we go. Andrew C, Melina D, Nayana E, Blake F, Jaden G, Joshua A, Brian B, Rehan C, Michael D C, Salma B, Alyssa A, Claire G, Brooke F, Aaron E, Anaya D, Manya D, Gianna C. 
hope I didn't miss any names. I perhaps added some. Let us review Puff the Magic Dragon, since we should be pretty good at that by now. Here we go, ladies and gents. So it is, let's sing it. Mine are acting up. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea, and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea, and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Let's sing it in the recorder key. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea, and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea, and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. On the recorder. Here we go. go. Let me try it slower. you do? This time let me play it with you. you know this next song and it's kind of an appropriate song because it's called home simple to play. The only tricky thing is the low C, which I think most of us can generally get that after a little bit of practice. Hold on to me as we go, as we roll down this unfamiliar road, and although we swing the singing of
you'll notice when you see the sheet music, I have repeated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the last seven measures, and then I've added a C at the end. Now, this has been written in an easy piano version, which means some of the rhythms are a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna edit some of the, the, the words because they wouldn't be, they're scaled down so it's a little bit more user-friendly for um, elementary age or perhaps even middle school age. So let's try it again and sing it and see if we can edit that and then we'll try it on the recorder. And you will be delightfully surprised at how not difficult it is. So that's what's written. I don't love it. Although this wave, I think it, I think the way it sounds with just taking the and out is better in my opinion. At least the way the easy piano version is written is straight us along. Just know you're not alone. Here's another one of those that really doesn't fit. I'm gonna make this place your home. So I took the word cuz out on that. Repeat, last seven measures. And then with C, which is the do. So, um, Honestly, written music, you know, it began a thousand years ago um, in the medieval time, but it's a guide. And sometimes you'll notice, especially with pop music, less classical music, it's a little more challenging to write down some of the things that are done. You can, it can be done, but in terms of reading it as a musician, sometimes it's a little more challenging. So we're going to edit to make it sound its very best and use it as a guide as opposed to being completely literal with all the notes. So here is the beginning. So it's CC, beginning, right? Simple. G, C, 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 A, G, G. Okay, that's the first phrase. That's the first section. And guess what happens again? Next part. I took one of the G's out. Pretty much the same notes. Right? And then now we go down to a C, which is our challenge. One thing that's helpful in this particular recorder, which was the, like the $20 recorder, woo, is that you can turn, it's it's a three piece. Some recorders are a one piece where you can't do anything. Some, I think yours are a two piece. Some of you might have a three piece and this is a three piece. Depending on how your fingers are, I have a short little finger. So it's hard for me to get to that C so that the three piece recorder helps me because I turned it a little in. If I had it a one piece and it was all even, it would be hard for me to reach over. That's an interesting thing with if you play the piano. I can play the piano, but it's not my main instrument. Just mainly, if you look at my fingers, they're not very even. If you look at a famous pianist's fingers, they have pretty even digits, and that's how they're able to reach all the notes. Uh, my span here, I can I can reach from about from note from do to like high re, about nine, but most pianists can do ten or eleven, and that sometimes it's just physical. My, I, have, I have littler hands, so it depends on on um, how you're built. I know some of the famous composers, they would like, I don't forget which pianist this was, I want to say like Liszt or Chopin, they literally would tape their finger down so they could make it stronger. I don't think that's such a good idea. So let's try again at the beginning. Let's do that again. And 
Let's see. So when we go. What is this called that I'm doing right now, guys? It's called practicing, right? How have you been doing on that? Repeat. There it is. Okay, so see how I kind of have to evolve my fingers to do that. Um, pretty simple, and I would absolutely love to hear one of you guys do that. Either this or Puff the Magic Dragon. Send it to me. That would be fantastic. And of uh, course, guys, I will see you this week in our meetup. Um, check the blog, and I have convoed your families so you know when we will have our meetings. Have a great week. I will see you soon. Bye.